Yeah, as you can see, the numbers that jump out at me is uh, Emilio Chavez is 11 and 9, while Jose Estrada is 3 and 0. He's also five years younger. He's got a two inch reach disadvantage, Froggy Jose Estrada, and a four inch height reach disadvantage as well. Let's see if uh, Emilio can use his length in order to gain him the victory tonight. Jose Froggy Estrada taking on Emilio the Ferocious Aztec. Chavez will get into the particulars of this one, but I'll tell you, it's going to be interesting. Mike Bell in charge of the chaos in La Hala. Yeah, Juliana Pena, Rich this Quinones. is going to be an interesting fight. This is uh, Froggy's uh, fourth fight with Combate Americas, and uh, his whole entire game, his entire life, has been fighting guys that are massively bigger than him, and he's been able to find a way to win. Well, he's in trouble early on. And yes, again, Chavez is. in the gray trunks, Froggy in some discomfort right now in the red trunks. We talked early on, the storyline all week has been, can he rise to the challenge, selling so many tickets and a new girlfriend, a new life, balance, family, friends at this great arena in Ventura, California. Are the bright lights gonna be too, are they gonna shine too much on this junk fighter? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, this whole entire place, if you guys can hear the outside uh, people yelling, this entire place is on their feet. Every single seat is sold out. The whole entire crowd is here for Froggy because uh, this is where he's from. This is his hometown. Oh, he's in trouble. And uh, Emilio has a full body triangle on Froggy. Froggy needs to break that triangle in order to get back to his feet. But this guy is doing a great job of keeping his hooks in. is using his length very, very well, stretching Froggy out. But Froggy is continuously moving. And there's a tight Renick choke. We might, get a, we might get a over. tap out. We it's might get a tap out. We might get a tap out. Chavez might pull it off. It's over. He said Froggy hasn't fought anyone until he's fought me. Mike Bell watching the action. And that's it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Combates America, mi amigos. Are you kidding me with that? That is a shocking, shocking way to go out. That fast. And Chavez just playing to the crowd, trying to silence them. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, Chavez, when he came into the fighter interviews, was like, you know, the guys that I have lost to on my record are studs, and there's no shame in losing to people that are that high of a caliber of a fighter. He's fought in the likes of guys that have fought in the Tachi Palace, these guys that he's fought and have gone on to the UFC. He has so much experience, Emilio, and I think that that definitely plays a factor in the fact that Jose Estrada has only three fights as a professional fighter. Emilio does a great job of using his uh, hamstrings to stretch out Jose Estrada. He flattens him out, sinks in the rear naked choke with the right hand, and at this point I said it was over, but then he goes, switches to a short choke, gets uh, Jose in a position with both of those hooks and that he has nowhere to go but to tap. Unbelievable, we'll make it official. The time of the stoppage, it happened quick, and it was thrift. Back inside to La Hala, we go to Pablo Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end officially at 1 minute 29 seconds in the very first round. Tenemos el tiempo oficial de 1 minuto 29 segundos en el primer asalto. Declarando su ganador por la vía de la sumisión por una mataleón. Declaring your winner by the way of submission due to a rear naked choke. De Fullerton, California. El Azteca Feroz, the Ferocious Aztec. Emilio.